Okay, let's welcome up Kevin Contento. Hang out all the time, and we're either 
shooting new things or we're bringing ideas to the table and uh, it's really become probably like the most fruitful collaboration of like this kind of young life of mine. <laughs> young <-ish. laughs> I don't have a question, but um, I've actually been there and, been, and experienced those fields on my way to Lake Okeechobee. So thank you for that. It's, you did a really good job. Uh, thank mm -hmm. you. Appreciate that. master falconer. He has like over like 30 years of working with animals. There's even a film made about him because at one point he owned a, an eagle, a cougar, and, a, and a, a coyote. So they made a movie about a guy who gets lost and befriends all three of them. Um, so, he's, so he's an awesome dude. He came down, he, he had like a bunch of birds with him and that was pretty hard working with the bird just because like teenagers, they kind of don't want to do what you tell them to do and they're going to get tired and it's just you gotta really rehearse it. And what was great was that we storyboarded everything that we needed with the animals. So, at least with the, the bird, and that made it really easy because we knew what we needed and the minute we had it, we could just move on. Um, the rabbits, can't really say much about working with them <laughs> besides the fact that this is just kind of like life. That's like a really small part of what life is, but that's part of it and part of it is rabbit hunting, especially for teenagers out there. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of uh, kind of like many economic opportunities. Like you can't get like an easy day job out there, especially as a teenager. And if you don't have a car, the nearest big town is like 45 minutes away. So uh, this is actually like a really kind of easy way to make some money. You can just sell rabbit meat to your friends or to your relatives. Um, or it's just something to do on a really boring ass day in Pahokee. <laughs> so it's it's really it's really like a little bit mix of everything and um, it's, it's kind of a special place but it's you know hopefully it can change too because you know it's like there's not even a movie theater in the town so it's like something like this is kind of like unheard of like this is like a treat so so uh, what are you, you going to work with these actors again or what, what what's your next project yes. So we've been working on something since September. It's hopefully gonna be a feature. Um, it's very much in this kind of style and vein. And um, it's, uh, there's a old medieval text that's called the Conference of the Birds. It's this like a uh, Islamic Sufi kind of poem. And in it, there's a bunch of uh, parables that all have different themes. And um, we are taking like a handful of these poems and adapting them to like, life in Pahokee and like the setting of Belle Glade, like that very beautiful, uh, sorry, no, whatever that word was, but the beautiful <laughs> sugar cane. <laughs> and um, we've been working on it on the weekends when, you know, no one's in school or when no one has any other commitments. We are pretty much like more than halfway through with it, but we're kind of like at a point where now we need like some type of support to finish off the rest of the film and get it through post. And, um, like I said, these are opportunities for us to get out of the house. Um, we really look forward to it. It's like any good friendship when you don't see your friend. It starts to kind of like, you're like wondering when we're gonna hang out again and all the fun things we can do. Like thanks to this film, we've been able to travel the country as a group, um, especially through Florida. And uh, it would be just great to kind of finish off a feature and then to spend like another year <laughs> touring it <laughs> with everybody. And, and if, if a feature, we can pull it off, I'm hoping that we can have the support so that every time we screen it, like, everyone's there. And that would be, like, the best. Awesome. Well, thank you for hope. Uh, yeah. Why, why did you say to black and white? Uh, so all the references were in black and white. Um, and uh, beca because of the, the thematic nature of the project, um, I think black and white lends itself to being a little bit more, like, you have to give yourself a little bit more to the story. And... Um, I'm a big fan of like Igmar Bergman and uh, that kind of how he ties in spirituality into his work. And I felt that uh, this is like a great, it's just like a great, if it worked for him, it could definitely work for me. And uh, <laughs> I'm hoping. And um, yeah, it just kind of made more sense because uh, like I said, all the references were in black and white. So I think it just, I had to stick with it. Color just isn't, the new project isn't color, but it felt much better in black and white. Yes, 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 yes. I, 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 didn't, I didn't fix
figure out how to use the green. Now for the, I think the future, I have an idea of what so much green can bring to the table. So it kind of makes more sense. I feel better with it. Yeah. You definitely have to embrace it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, I got Charles Burnett's Killer of Sheep, too. I don't know if anybody's seen that, but um, yeah. And uh, while I have the stage, there's like this type of, uh, there's a really, one of my favorite filmmakers right now is Kalika La. And he has this amazing film called Black Mother that's playing at a, um, in LA. Uh, he's like a photographer, kind of like trade, but I had the pleasure of meeting him in Tallahassee. And if you really like spirituality and film, his latest film is pretty much like a giant prayer. And it's set in Jamaica, because he's uh, Iranian and uh, Jamaican. And it's like beautiful. So if you like this type of work, check out Black Mother. Thank you. Thank you.